All right, intro to painting. Um, first thing probably is our brushes. Brushes make a difference. Uh, we keep the bristles up. We never put the bristles down because that kind of bends them and ruins them. There are different types of brushes for different purposes. Brushes of this nature kind of hold and make kind of straight lines, and I'll show you, probably use this brush in a minute. Brushes of this nature are used more to kind of like write things like names or do things similar to making longer lines as opposed to filling in shades of color, which we're going to work on today. I'm just looking for the best brush. And I'll stay with that one. <clears throat> um, a lot of times I use two things of water, depending on what I'm working on. This I really don't need it, but I just wanted to demonstrate it. One is like a really clean water, and one is like a first wash. So like I kind of clean it here, but it's still dirty. And then I clean it here and it's really clean. It's key to have tissue paper or something to control the amount of water on your brush when you're using watercolor paints. That's gonna be one of the hardest things to do and use in this thing that we're working on. It's just something that you're going to have to get used to and experiment with and make mistakes and learn from. Okay, we have our <clears throat> watercolor paints. And you guys can use a palette, but rather than paint directly off here, I generally mix some water into it and thin out my colors. Okay, I can kind of add slowly other colors if I want to, to kind of change the color. And sometimes I keep them like separate like this so I have like a transition from yellow to orange. I don't know how well you can see that, but hopefully you get the idea. Next. Okay, we gotta learn how to color. <laughs> so we're gonna shade in smooth values in the boxes. Okay, so directions say, repeat, value is the lightness and darkness of an object or surface. Match the following values in the empty boxes below. So this is supposed to be this value, this is supposed to be this value, and so forth. Graded on your effort, smooth and consistent painting, staying in, within the lines and shading the entire area. So a lot of people, when they start to paint, they kind of just, I don't know, I can see all this. Grab paint right off here, and they come in, and they paint, and they just kind of go like that. And that's not actually a horrible job. See me drying off my brush after I clean it. What I tend to do is go really slowly, and this is something that you guys are gonna overlook, but the way to be really controlled and not to make mistakes is sketch lightly, lightly, lightly. And paint the same way. Okay, I take and turn my edge, I turn my edge, I turn my edge, I turn my edge, and then I come in and I fill in kind of the middle. And I don't know if you can see, but I had a little too much water on my brush, because right here, it's kind of puddling. It's a little darker right here. If I can see it's a little darker right here, I can go in and smooth it out so I get rid of that. Okay, as that dries, I can go back in, and again, I dipping in water and noticing the consistency of the, the amount of water on my brush, go back in and do the same thing. Okay, and if you really wanna be awesome, you can do this a billion times over till you get exactly what you want. Okay, I added like just nothing there, just to make a point to you guys. I'm now gonna go ahead and take more paint. Control that amount of water on my brush. I probably should get more paint. Go ahead and add another layer. And my music is skipping. I'm gonna go ahead and let that one dry a little bit. So 
I don't start to ruin the paper. This paper is really thin when we do our actual painting paintings. We're gonna do them on a thicker paper that's made a little better. Um, I'm gonna do one kind of really quick. I'm gonna grab a dark color. For when you're doing these things, you have your own palettes. You have your own set of watercolors. Use ugly colors. Use colors you don't anticipate using for your final landscape. Use colors that you don't expect will be used, that way you save your pretty colors for your pretty paintings and not just your practice drawings. Okay, I have a lot of water on my brush. See how it's all puddling up? So what I gotta do when I do that is get all the water off my brush, then come back in and lift it up, get that off my brush, and you gotta do this quickly before it dries, and then just attack the spaces that need the most work as quickly as you can. Okay, if you go at it and you don't have enough paint on your brush, or enough water on your brush, I might have too much water here. It's gonna be kind of splotchy, and you're not gonna be able to kind of get a smooth thing. So really that amount of water on the brush is key. I think I'm pretty good with all I need to say to you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and maybe try to finish this up. But what we're trying to do is match this value to the value above it. So I think I'm still a little light, but I'm not really looking at it all too good. When you clean your paintbrushes, we gotta figure out what kind of procedures we wanna do as a class. But you know your brush is clean. You take it kinda, you don't hold it under the water, but you run the water and you do it back and forth in the bottom. You know the brush is clean when no paint comes off it. There's a little bit of yellow on there. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just gonna go back in and touch that up and clean it. Okay, with my brushes, I actually do it with my mouth, but it's make sure we shape our brushes. Because if we go like that, or we go like that, they're gonna dry like that and they're gonna get ruined. So keep the brushes nice. Whatever, nice and straight when you're done with them. Thank you.